The Diamondbacks are not ruling out adding at the deadline if they continue their surprising start. Their farm system is stronger than in years past and will get even better with the team holding eight of the first 95 picks in the amateur draft. Still, the D-backs will go only so far. Fangraph still has the Dodgers winning 13 more games in Arizona, and no team can be expected to go all out if its best-case scenario is a wild card. Don't look now, but agent Scott Boris might all but control the market for slugging outfield DH types this offseason. J.D. Martinez would be the big prize if he opts out with the Red Sox, but don't forget Marcel Ozuna, another Boris client who is three years younger than Martinez and would hit the market entering his age 29 season. Nicholas Castellanos, yet another defensively challenged outfielder, recently hired Boris as well. The possibility that Carlos Rodon might need Tommy John surgery reinforces just how difficult it can be for rebuilding teams such as the White Sox to sync up their young talent. Three of Chicago's younger pitching prospects, Michael Kopech, Dane Dunning, Zach Birdie, already have undergone Tommy John's. Third baseman Jake Berger missed all of 2018 with a torn Achilles, and outfielder Luis Roberts said that last year was essentially a lost year due to multiple thumb sprains. With prospects, linear progress is not necessarily guaranteed. Tracking exit velocity often gives us a better idea of when hitters are starting to lock in. Chris Bryant's recent results do not suggest that he is especially hot, but on Tuesday in Seattle, Bryant hit four balls that averaged 107.3 miles per hour. That's a level hitters rarely attain over the course of four plate appearances in one game. Bryant also had a double on Friday at 101.6 miles per hour. He continues to draw his walks on bases above 350. More hits should be coming soon.